Hi guys. My name, well, Metal Man and Alex. Uh, that's the channel name. I was inspired today by Miss Loretta Jenkins. She's amazing and she is a firecracker and one to be reckoned with. She inspired me to make my bathroom videos <laughs> and I had to make one. I just had to rant about something. Uh, I am from Mississippi, a small town in Mississippi. I've moved a few times. Also, cheers you guys. Vanilla pecan beer and this little yingling can, this yingling light, it's filled with another substance that's not beer. But I'm going and taking little baby sips like this. And chasing it with this. Mm. The face I made might give you a clue as to if it was above 90% alcohol volume or not. <laughs> Who's to say? Anyway, my name's Alex, and uh, my channel name has always been Metal Maiden Alex. My high school friends might see this, they might not. Yes, I'm sitting on a toilet. I'm at that point in my life where I'm just hitting my midlife, mid, mid drift life's mid drift uh, crisis. And what better to let YouTube just fucking witness it? I mean, why the fuck not? So, what should I, um, what should I talk about? I don't know really. I just started this and didn't know what to talk about and I've had a few. Maybe the good Lord intended for me to take another. See there you go, there's my inspiration. I remember it as soon as I took that swallow. I sure did. I I've always wanted to write a book about my life, but that's never happened. So I thought maybe I should make YouTube videos, 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 vid, vids, shout out outlaw, uh, or up church. One of those two said, says videos. I don't want to get sued. I just think it's cute, but I have always wanted to write a book and I don't have the motivation right motivation motivation right now to do a book because that takes a lot of time and writing I just don't have all that I don't I figured drinking and talking through it would be somewhat easier somewhat a better experience because you can see my facial reactions if I cry, if I don't cry, if I just am talking, you know. I thought about doing this on TikTok, but TikTok does not have long videos and these stories might be a little long-winded. I figure I'd start out when I was born and I will continue from there. And I'll see how people like it and if they want me to continue and we'll go from there. I think it's about time before I uh, do my little born again story for another shot of what's in here. Mmm. And a swallow. And a chase. So, I already realized I've made a mistake. I have forgotten my bottle opener. Just one second. So, jokes on me. I had all the bottles open in here. Like, all of them. And, uh, I didn't need a bottle opener. 
to begin with. So there's that. Um, I think it's time for another swaller before I continue my baby story. Just wanted to go ahead and finish that off. So, you know what? I have to pee. I'll be right back. I am back. <laughs> And I peed. So I have a new one ready to go and I have my baby story ready in my head. A dear. So I was born February 13th, 1990. My mom, Beatrice, let's call her Beatrice, uh, nickname B. My mom, B, she had me in February 13th, 1990. At 8.30 p.m. around that time. Or was it 8.30 a.m.? Either way, it was 8.30. I can't remember if it was a.m. or p.m. Because my memory is shit. After the years of PTSD and short-term memory. It's around that time. But anyway, I was born. And I was born in preemie. I can't remember how many weeks either. I think it was like two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. But I was born way early because mom was a diabetic, like real bad. Dad was there. But I was in the ICU or the NICU for babies for about, hmm, shit. I have pictures in a photo album that I can show you guys and put up, but I might do that later. Not now because I'm not that tech savvy right now and edit and save these. So you just got to take my word for it for now. But trust me, a woman drinking in her bathroom telling you her life story obviously a little tipsy it's true mm -hmm. so B my mother she had me she had complications that's why I was in NICU uh, because she was very uh, bad diabetic she was type 2 and if you ask me what type 2 is, I won't be able to tell you because our relationship was that bad. I don't know what it pertained. I just knew that I had to shove sugar in her mouth um, whenever she had episodes or feed her peanut butter and juice and Coke until she felt better and her levels leveled out. But doctors always told her never to get pregnant, never do it because she would have complications. And that's where I came in because I, uh, all right, my dad met my mom i'll just tell you the meeting story then real quick uh they used to love to go well dad met my mom at a salon called jenkins let's just call it jenkins and i'm not using any real names in this just in case you know before the book and all <laughs> anyway my dad met my mom he had 87 t-top Indianapolis 500 Camaro. It was blue with gray, pin, gray and red pinstripes. It had some gray in it on the T-top, but it was blue. It was an Indianapolis 500 pace car model. Only 80 or 100 in the world to buy from. He bought it off the showroom floor. <coughs> he started working at Noble Drilling Company, an offshore company back when that was a thing and drilling made you a lot of money nowadays it's weird yeah anyway he's making about 2k every two weeks enough to raise a family do a good job at that so he bought that camaro he said that was one of his first purchases to me he was like i wanted it i saw it i got it who says that now if you want it, I got it. Oh, yeah, that's on your heart. Are you on a grind day? I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. That was my dad back in the 1990s. He saw that Camaro and he was like, damn, I want you, baby. And he got it. And that's how he got my mama. And that's how he got me, too. But basically, he went in for a haircut. And he was bald at this point when he worked offshore. I don't know how long he had his hair. He's a natural redhead. His mom, my grandmother, she uh, 
she and my papa i never met him because he had a heart attack we'll get into that later um but he was a pure redhead thoroughbred and so was my aunt she was also a redhead thoroughbred my mama i have no idea what color i think she was brunette my papa i think he was brunette my uncle he is brunette so i don't know where this red gene comes from it must be I don't know how genes work or X chromosomes or chromosomes, period. I'm fucking dumb, man. I haven't been on the honor roll since I was, like, in primary. So, first of all, god damn it, y'all. I don't know how it happened, but it did happen. I got cut the fuck off. I might as well make this little intro, like, my first intro. I don't even know if, uh you guys can see what's going on as far as my text messages oh my kitty's here look look how handsome that boy is that boy is so handsome yes he is his name is tom and he is such a good kitty and he that is my baby i hope you guys can see him <laughs> that is my world and my light and i do also have my boyfriend's pom-pom my fiance we are engaged we have been engaged for about i would say three weeks now Mart, hold on, because y'all just saw my shampoo. Anyway, I didn't mean for that to happen. Hold on, my fiance texts me. Um, okay, we're talking about fish shocking, which is a very illegal way to get fish. And he's telling me he's coming home, so let me just. You, I'm gonna be like you be careful now you hear i love you very very much xoxo um i'm just gonna be like i'll see you soon if he sees this xoxo and then i'm gonna be like kissy face yeah and some hearts anyway that's how you gotta talk to y'all man you guys i don't know what happened my my cat's rubbing against me hey tom hey tom he is the best cat i've ever had and the funniest we adopted him he's adopted he knows it though i mean he's fine with it he had ear mites so he was quarantined we got him three years ago Oh. God damn it. I think I got it in my hair. Oh. I promise y'all. I'm not like some drunk drunk. I'm just very clumsy. I like drinking. I'm clumsy. I have some shit I want to say. <clears throat> Look at it. I know. Oh, are you stuck? Oh, shit. If I knew he was stuck, I would have helped. Tell me you okay. Look at him. He's coming back for my love. He's okay. Don't worry, y'all. He's fine. Hey, boo-boo. You need your nails trimmed. See, every time I try to trim his nails, it's like fucking Hellraiser. He comes out with his claws, and he will not let us hold him. I try. Sometimes it's easier than others. Like, I guess if he's, like, in his little kitty horny mood, like, he's more relaxed. Like, you know what I mean? Females in heat, males in heat, animals, like, they're more relaxed. Or if you rub his belly a lot, he'll be, get relaxed enough where I can get his paws and get his nails out and I'll trim them. But lately, he has grown. He's three years old now and some change. And he has not really, he used to snuggle with me and, and all that stuff. And now he just headbutts me and wants food. And that's about it. He loves me for food. And I love him still, just like I did when he was a baby. But he loves me for food and me baby talking to him and just scratching stuff. But he will not let me trim his nails or treat his ear mites. He acts like I'm the devil when that happens. Anyway, my mom, look at him. Look at there. Look at that sweet baby. Look at that sweet, sweet baby. That's dumb. Anyway, so he is so precious. He's just trying to get food out of me. My mama met my daddy. 
because he used to set hair appointments up at her salon. In the south. And he was bald headed. I think he had a little hair whenever she saw him for the first time. But also, I'm pretty sure he was like one day, hey, uh, let me get my hair cut. And he just went bald. But the story that I heard was that he just went because he loved the way she massaged his head. And that's how they fell in love. That sounds like, you know, the guy on the fucking, in the fucking Camaro pulling up and like, yeah, baby, I want my head shaved. And oh, fuck, I love the way y'all fingers on my head. That's how it kind of happened. So anyway. They fell in love and all that. I'm not going to get into it. I don't care how, how mama rubbed his head. But that's the story I was told. So where I live now. They met and would come into the city that I live in now. At 31 years old. And they went to this Mexican restaurant. That I will call C's. And they used to love to meet at C's. And it lives right across the street from where I'm at. Well, ironically, I live with my fiance right near the restaurant that they fell in love at. But now it is shut down. It did have new owners. But at the time, it was a very popular place to get margaritas. It was like a dollar margaritas back in the day in the 90s, y'all. Y'all know how it was. I have tons of pictures I'm going to put up, by the way. My dad mom smashed. My mom smashed. My dad smashed. I unfortunately don't have pictures of them being smashed at this Mexican restaurant, but you know how it be. I don't know. They were too smashed to really give a fuck or to even, uh, I'm going to shut this little, little bathroom door because my animals keep trying to come through and my dog, my fiance's dog is on. Mm. Just going to do a little shoddy shot. So, also I have a vape. I have stopped smoking for two years successfully now. And, uh, <coughs> I'm blowing it out because you get them good hits when you blow it out and get all that residue out. But anyway... The way they made me was a dollar margarita night at C's. They would go to C's on my dad's Vulcan, which was his motorcycle at the time. My mom B thought that was very sexy. And they went to C's, the restaurant, and got dollar margaritas all night. And uh, until they decided one day, hey, let's go to a motel and just do the damn thing. So they went to a motel and they put... My dad mentioned the story when he was drunk. I didn't want to hear it. But basically, I think everybody hears this story now and again. Where they came from. How their parents did it. They tell it drunkenly or like it's funny. We don't want to hear it, but we always hear it somehow. Anyway, if you haven't, you're lucky. You're lucky because anybody... <laughs> anybody who's fucking had parents who's gotten a little tipsy enough to tell you the story are fucking scarred from it and we can't stand y'all i mean it's nice to know but everybody is like oh i fucking nailed your mom against this tree <laughs> and you know that you came from against a pine tree or something i mean who wants to really know that but i know my story too don't feel bad y'all i'm about to share it i don't give a fuck anymore my mom used to love her pillowcases and her pillows and she had to have at least eight at all times around her just like a bunch of pillows like she loved just snuggling pillows plus the man she was with at the time my dad they ordered like eight nine ten pillows from the hotel staff to make her comfortable and I'm pretty sure they did what they did on top of that after Marguerite tonight and that's where I came in. And it was at a Motel 6. So I was born on the floor of a Motel 6 hotel room where I was made. 
in Motel 6's honor on some Motel 6 ground on some Motel 6 pillows. I sure was. And I sure as hell think that some of y'all up in there have been born on some Motel 6 pillows. And y'all just don't even know it. But Alex is here to tell y'all it might be true. So, I'm just here to say, it doesn't matter where you came from. On the floor, on some pillows, after some margaritas. That's my beginning story. That's my baby story. I might elaborate the next episode. Right now, I don't know. All I know is that my fiance is on his way home. I have drank some of his talk vodka, which he won't appreciate, but love me anyway for him. Some of the Yinglings. I've had a good time. I hope y'all have too. And I'll see you in the next episode, which is probably going to be my younger years and my earliest memory. We'll get into that. I'll just tell y'all it's about damn Jesus Easter egg hood. I remember my first memory being Easter with my mama in a Chevy show truck. Mom, we'll talk about that next time. I love y'all, and that is how it happened. Bye-bye now. Ew. Hi, guys. My name, well, Metal Man and Alex. Uh, that's the channel name. I was inspired today by Miss Loretta Jenkins. She's amazing and she is a firecracker and one to be reckoned with. She inspired me to make my bathroom videos <laughs> and I had to make one. I just had to rant about something. Uh, I am from Mississippi, a small town in Mississippi. I've moved a few times. Also, Cheers, you guys. Vanilla pecan beer. And this little yingling can, this yingling light, it's filled with another substance that's not beer. But I'm going and taking little baby sips like this. And chasing it with this. Mmm. The face I made might give you a clue as to if it was above 90% alcohol volume or not. <laughs> Who's to say? Anyway, my name's Alex, and uh, my channel name has always been Metal Maiden Alex. My high school friends might see this, they might not. Yes, I'm sitting on a toilet. I'm at that point in my life where I'm just hitting my midlife, mid, mid drift life's mid drift uh, crisis. And what better to let YouTube just fucking witness it? I mean, why the fuck not? So what should I, um, what should I talk about? I don't know really. I just started this and didn't know what to talk about and I've had a few. Maybe the good Lord intended for me to take another. See, there you go. There's my inspiration. I remember it as soon as I took that swallow. I sure did. I have always wanted to write a book about my life. But that's never happened. So I thought maybe I should make YouTube videos. 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 Vid, vids. Shout out Outlaw. Uh, or Up Church. One of those two said, says videos. I don't want to get sued. 
I just think it's cute. But I have always wanted to write a book and I don't have the motivation right motivation motivation right now to do a book because that takes a lot of time and writing I just don't have all that I don't I figured drinking and talking through it would be somewhat easier somewhat a better experience because you can see my facial reactions if I cry, if I don't cry, if I just am talking, you know. I thought about doing this on TikTok, but TikTok does not have long videos and these stories might be a little long-winded. I figure I'd start out when I was born and I will continue from there. And I'll see how people like it and if they want me to continue. And we'll go from there. I think it's about time before I uh, do my little born again story for another shot of what's in here. Mmm. And a swallow. And a chase. So, I already realized I've made a mistake. I have forgotten my bottle opener. Just one second. 